I, I never really thought of myself as a leader. Uh, it's, it's just something that you, I think I've developed as a way to get more performance. And it, it's, it wasn't like, okay, now I'm going to be a leader. Uh, I think when people tag themselves as leaders, it generally gives the impression that they just want attention. Uh, people who want performance and want the best out of people around them naturally maybe become leaders. So I've, myself, I've never been an official team captain. I am now a coach. Uh, so I, I, I find that I'm in a leadership position now, but I, I find my style is trying to draw performance out of people and, and holding, holding that as a standard. And it, I think it's, I don't, I don't force anybody to do anything. Uh, they have to, it has to be under their own will. And being able to find something that they want and try and you know, point them in that direction or help nudge them there is what I want to do. I, I, I won't drag. It's just not worth, your, worth the time. And you, you rarely get a top performance from somebody who's been dragged there. So I find just being open and trying to just be uh, understanding of everybody's situation is and not, not expecting to be a leader is my leadership style. What I said to one of my teammates who um, I think is, I have a highly talented teammate or former teammate because I'm not on the team anymore, but I have a highly talented teammate who is not necessarily an alpha male type, if you will. It's not necessarily the type of person that walks into a room and makes everybody do what he wants. He has a much gentler style of getting people to do what he wants and, and to get people to help him. But I also said, well, you have to be the leader on this team now. You have to step up and set the tone of how this team's going to be unless you want someone else on the team to do that, in which case you're going to be on their team and not the other way around. And if you think you can win a medal in 2014, which I believe you can, you have to take control of the team. You have to run it a little bit. You have to step up and do the things that make people want to follow you. You set the precedence of being on time and early for training and working hard and bringing that attitude to training every day. And you set the tone and that'll get people to follow you. That'll get the coaches to make sure that they're all set up and ready to go because you're set up and ready to go. You've set the tone. Now you're a leader and you have to lead or you're going to be at the mercy of somebody, how somebody else leads and you're going to leave that medal on the table. Leadership in many ways I, I know personally that when I first hear the term leadership, I, I often think that it's, in younger athletes, it's, uh, how do I say? I, I, I've found leadership to be, through my time as an athlete, has changed of what the way I think it is. And it, uh, I've learned that it's, it's not just about being the, the master and commander of the ship or the you know, stated you know, person in charge. Uh, it's about your actions and it's about the things that you do to make stuff better. And it, it doesn't just have to be uh, somebody who's boisterous, who motivates the team, who you know, rallies everybody with all their, what they're saying, but it, it's, it's the athletes, even who are the quiet athletes, who are doing the, the daily training harder than anybody else. It's the guys who are, you know, just making sure they're there every day, like putting the time in. And when you see that going on, that a leader is somebody who people look up to. And whether it's the ones that are want to be looked up to or the ones that just want to perform and who end up being looked up to, they're both leaders. And it, it doesn't need to be the people who are always talking. And it's, I'd, I, I, I was a shy athlete growing up, so I'd, I know that there's, I, I, I think leaders sometimes get coined as being you know, somebody special. Uh, and usually those are the people who are always talking. And for the quieter athletes, they may see that, well, they're being undervalued when in fact they can be just as good as leaders by their actions.